into the straight down to Cops, and behind them, two Swedish drivers, Hagen Andersson in the white BMW, and then the woman driver, Netten Lindgren, in, in another white BMW, but it's Cops Corner. Harvey, Middlehurst, and Middlehurst is, is really harrying Tim Harvey. Right on his boot lid, he's not giving him any peace at all as they come into Beckett's. See, there's about a foot, if anything, if that, between the rear bumper of Harvey's BMW and Middlehurst Ford. And Belm here, that we're with, isn't very far behind now as they go into Brooklands. They turn in, and Harvey's lost it! Tim Harvey spins! And that's, that's what Middlehurst Harrying has done for him. Tim Harvey spins out, and he's lost at least five places as he rejoins. So, Luffield at the end of the lap, Middlehurst and Bell up to sixth and seventh. Lindgren and Anderson behind them, eighth and ninth, and Andy Rouse is there. Look for the Toyota. He's up to 11th from 19th. Now, we're with Ray Bell chasing Andy Middlehurst Ford Sierra. A lot of people said that the Ford Sierra wouldn't be up to it without a turbocharger, but Andy Middlehurst and Graham Goode are proving them wrong. Middlehurst staying ahead of Ray Bell's very quick 280 horsepower BMW M3. Now Beckett's. Now Andy Rouse is starting to gain. There he is, number three, tenth position. He's come up through the field, he's gained nine places, and that's the 1990 touring car champion Rob Gravitt in the Trackstar Sierra. He's already spun twice. He's a very unhappy man. But the battle for sixth continues. Will Hoy is out front, leading by a massive 13 seconds. He's done the fastest lap, 1 minute 47.5, 91.7 miles an hour. In car with Andy Rouse, a stunning recovery, 10th behind Pagan Anderson, the Swede in the BMW, the white car ahead, out of cops. Riding with four times British champion Andy Rouse. Watch that light in front of him on the fascia. When he gets up to maximum revs, it lights and tells him literally to change gear. And Rouse is through, taking Anderson's BMW, moving up to ninth position as the two Vauxhalls, second and third, go through. Now we're with John Clellan. Chasing Jeff Allen in second position. Three cars, in fact, battling for second place. The two Vauxhall Cavaliers, and there they are, and behind them, there it is, Jonathan Palmer's BMW. Into cups. Vauxhall second, Vauxhall third, Palmer in the BMW in fourth position, and Will Hoy, of course, leading. Now we're with Jonathan Palmer. It's a great effort, this fourth place. He's used to driving the Formula One McLaren in testing and the big Porsche 962 sports car. Now he's in the BMW Works Touring Car with teammate Steve Soper, fourth position, with only the Vauxhalls and Hoy in front of him. And look how much he's trying. Clellan getting his car out of shape as they come out of the right-hander at Luffield. Now into Woodcote, completing the lap. So first, second, third, fourth, and look at, look at Andy Rouse, number three. What a recovery. He's right up from 19th position with Ray Belm and Andy Middlehurst. Now, we're with Ray Belm now in the BMW. Middlehurst in front of us. Colossal pressure from Andy Rouse behind. Into Cox. Running a bit wide. Running very wide. Running onto the grass. Belm goes off. And, and Rouse goes through, up into sixth position. And that's cost Bell places, it's cost him two places, because Rouse has gone through, Anderson in the white BMW in front has gone through. So, Beckett's. And that there, number 33, is Gary Ailes in the second Toyota Carina, going down the straight, and there's somebody pulling in. It's one of the Vic Lee BMWs. It's Bristow, it's Lawrence Bristow. Oh, and this is a tragedy for him. Lawrence was in fifth position. Bell passes, Anderson passes. 
and that is Andy Rouse. Now he's in sixth position behind the very impressive Andy Middlehurst. Race order. Will Hoy lead, Jeff Hallam second, Cleland third, Palmer fourth, Middlehurst is fifth in the fourth. Andy Rouse, number three there, is sixth. Ray Belm is seventh. Anderson is in eighth place and Gary Ailes is ninth. It's another lap completed. On to Beckett's, and it's still Jeff Allen and John Cleland battling for that second position, with Will Hoy now nearly 16 seconds ahead of him. John Cleland is going to take Jeff Allen now. Down the club straight, under the bridge. He's on the outside, but he's got to get through on the inside to stay ahead of Allen on the corner, and Allen is there. Jeff Allen holds his second place. The Vauxhall twins are moving as one. Look at them. Second and third. It doesn't look as though they're going to catch Will Hoy, though. And will Cleland catch and pass Jeff Allen? Well, into the pits. Lawrence Bristow, what's the problem? Well, if it doesn't work, thump it. That doesn't seem to be doing any good. And a disgusted Lawrence Bristow throws aside his safety belt, gets out of the car, and the helicopter ace is out of his first BMW race. Will Hoy leads in the Vic Lee Motorsport BMW M3, an immaculate race, no worries, as they say in Australia. Second place, what a race for the Vauxhalls. Allen still second, Cleland that we're with in third place, just ahead of Jonathan Palmer's BMW. Jonathan still pushing very hard, but he's dropping back a bit. You can see how hard John Clennon was trying there. He put his rear wheels right over the rumble strip onto the grass. Now, looking back, there is Andy Middlehurst in the white Ford, fifth. Andy Rouse in the blue Toyota, sixth. Steve Soper back in the race, but well down. And Ray Belm in seventh position. Now, in car with Andy Rouse, trying so hard to pass Middlehurst. It looks as though he's done it at Cops. No, he hasn't. Middlehurst is staying there on the outside of the corner. This is incredible. He's staying in front on the outside. Rouse out the inside line, but still he couldn't get past. Now, Middlehurst should pull away because he's got the inside line at Maggots, and he does, and that's Steve Soper, unlapping himself past Andy Rouse. Well, Andy Rouse couldn't get past Middlehurst, but Soper has got past Rouse. Is Soper now going to be able to get past Middlehurst? There's the Ford Sierra in front. And with absolutely no trouble at all, Steve Soper drives through on the inside to take Andy Middlehurst, unlap himself. His gearbox is obviously fixed, and Ray Belm is now right up with Andy Rouse. As we look back from Rouse's car at Belm again, Ray's really enjoying himself. He set up this new team with Vic Lee prepared BMWs, and they're first and seventh, 140 miles an hour. Up to Cops. There they go, Middlehurst, Rouse, Bell, Ford, Toyota, BMW, looking back again. Up to Maggots. From Maggots into the right-hander at Beckett's. There's Rouse. On the right is Bell. In front is Middlehurst. Up to Brooklyn's, and they've all got their windscreen wipers going. The drizzle is increasing in intensity. As Andy Rouse struggles to make up places, three-wheeling round the left-hander. Three-wheeling round the right-hander. Try, try, try as he may, Andy Rouse just can't take the very impressive Andy Middlehurst. Middlehurst has raced in Formula Ford and in touring cars, Toyotas, Volkswagen Golfs, Sierra Cosworth Turbos, and now the Graham Good 2-litre, normally aspirated Ford. 